The problem lies with President Yuweri Museveni. He's the head of state, he's the chief executive. Parliament passed a resolution of our power. Parliament put a parliamentary committee that investigated this war. Resolution of parliament are not implemented by, by parliament. Under normal democracy, they are implemented by the executive. President Museveni has ignored that. President Museveni has had, originally, the people who were around Apa were basically Madis and Acholis. And you can, I, I can tell you, that's where the problem has been. Secondly, let me not also mean what? The problem of Apa is the problem of Moses Ali on creation. Because we and Madi, we have no problem. Historically, all over, we have not had any problem. We have lived with Madi all through. My cousins are Madi, I can tell you. They are living in Pabo here. You know, we, so they, they have been destroyed. They are Madi from Pakele. You know, so these Pakele people, when I go to Pakele, I am their son. When they go to Kampala, they visit me at home. These are my days. Do we have problem? No. So Moses Ali has been a problem. But the people who are causing problem uh, are my days, Moses, not my days of Uganda. These are my days Moses Ali has brought from Sudan. How did we come to know that? During the parliamentary committee when it was established, Speaker Kadaga directed me and Moses Ali to come and calm our population, not to be tribalistic, by talking over radio. We started it in Guluya. Moses Ali came with LC3s from Ajumani. Me, I didn't bring in LC3. I, I came with my colleagues, members of parliament. We sat in Ruping radio station. In that station, we presented our case. Moses Ali presented his case, but we asked for harmony. Say, this is not a mighty issue. We can, we, we can sort the problem. Let government sort it. Then, we reached a stage where Moses Ali invited one of his LC3, he trusted so much, to talk. The man said this word, our problem, we have no problem with Acholis. The Acholis have always reinforced us against the Madis from Sudan. We work together. And, and, and I can tell you, because of that statement, we never went to a Germany radio station. Moses Ali blocked it. So the problem is also Moses Ali. So, they have manipulated the situation in APA to an extent. When I was chairman of the committee, I, I moved in there. I found a commissioner, I, commissioner to agenda of somebody, I don't remember the name, was the one commanding the police there. The army had a lieutenant colonel who was there. And then wildlife were also there. What were the issues of APA? On the actual map, which we actually left it for, for technical people to handle, this is not the work of politicians. If it is found, Apa is in uh, Ajumani, must we fight and kill people over it? The people who are originally living there should be left to live there. Whether you call it now Ajumani or what. Although there's dispute and saying, you know, if we find some part of Apa, the people who call themselves from Apa are extended to Ajumani. Definitely. Ajumani has a cholis up to now who live there. A cholis have Madis who up to now live here. They have not had quarrel. So why APA in particular? And we, we even told government, there are all people with the tax ticket, the graduated tax ticket, who have kept it as evidence. Can we leave local government to sort all, all those problems? We have LCs. The, the records are in local government structures, in the Ministry of Local Government. They know how many LCs are in Uganda, where this LC belong. <laughs> so why don't you just say, our books indicate this LC area belongs either to Amuro or belongs to what? To, 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 to Ajumani. The question would be simple. Ministry of Education is there. Let's find out. There's a primary school in Apa. In a, in a, in a, in a where does that primary, where was that primary school registered? Ministry of Education should be able to tell, no, no, this school is in Ajumani. Or oh, this school is in Amoro. We, we have Ministry of Health. They have a health center in Apa. Ministry of Health can tell us, this is how we have been sending money for this health center through this district. So the issue of Apa, to me, as chairman of a truly parliamentary group at that time, I, took, I went to parliament and I said, Speaker, we politicians should not get involved. Let us trust the executive to use the existing institution to prove the case. But it should not cause problems. So the problem of APA has even moved away from problem of Ajumani and, and Amoro. When you go there, wildlife is claiming that that is their land. That it is gazetted. And let me tell you the true story. When Moses Ali was the minister, of wildlife and tourism. 
during the the, the, the the height of the conflict here, they wanted to degazette some area around there called Ismari on the side of Ajumani as a game reserve. But they thought that would not be enough. They should get some part of Acholi. So they came to Acholi District Council in Gulu here, and I can tell you the letter is there from Minister of Tourism, asking the district council to pass a resolution to allow to 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 dig to, to, to what to 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 uh, to make that area a uh, 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 a wildlife game reserve. But Guru District said, but our people are in the camp. How can we start doing that? Let us wait and the war settle. So that we 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 the Lord thing here. So the most of went to Ajumani and Ajumani passed innocently. The, the district council of Ajumani were also innocent. They passed a, a, a local government district resolution asking for Ismadi, which is there, which is in Ajumani. To be now the map now indicated the entire part of Bapa, which belongs to Amuro district. Parliament blindly passed that law. And I blame my colleagues in the, in, in the committees, because when it comes to plenary, we trust committees and we pass whatever recommendation they, they are brought. They never d went on the ground to digitally find out with scientific methods the location of this land. They never did that. In any case, at that time, there, there was a war. So this thing was passed with the wrong map of a power. That it is now, it's mighty. This is the map Moses Ali has been parading with. Map must be scale. <laughs> the map Moses Ali has been using is not scale. Scientifically, every map must be scale. If it is scale, you can actually locate it, that this belongs here. We even asked them. The colonial government were our rulers here. Ajumani was not there, but there was a mighty district. Amuro was not there, but there was a Choli district. So can we go and get the map? from the colonial office in London to come and help us resolve this conflict. This is not a problem of politicians, but it has not happened. So the third problem now goes to wildlife who are just being used to claim also the land. Now the question comes, is it about why? Now as you go, there are now Balalu there. So they have become a third factor. After their population could even be now more than the one of Mary and Acholi in that region. So you ask, them, who has taken people there? if it is not the government. So I think that is the simple way I can round up the power issue. It is, uh, if the, the, the whole conclusion would be a power crisis today is a symbol of failure of the state of Uganda to manage proper governance. As simple as that. That state is headed by the president of Uganda. Because how can really? People with guns move in Uganda and go and kill people the other side. You definitely be arrested. It is like Balalo here move with guns. If they find the ordinary people moving with guns, Museveni would arrest you for forming rebels. But the Balalos are free moving. So who knows these people? The state knows. How can the state identify the other people and not identify these, these elements who are state playing? No, it's, it, it, it becomes a challenge. For example, the, the issue of Balalo. I personally have an, an, an ID through good friendship because on my farm in Omel, I had a Mulalo who had become so friendly to me. So they had other groups. So he told me some of these groups are from Rwanda. I denied, I said, no. He said, bring me the ID and I see. He walked there, brought me the ID. I have, I have a photocopy of an ID from Rwanda. I have a photocopy of an ID from Burundi. How can the state of Uganda allow people to walk across borders, Wahema from Congo, Tutsi from Rwanda, Tutsi from Burundi, and then Bahima? The Bahima who are here are a little bit different. The Bahima who are here are the high profile people. The rich, the powerful, the generals, the ministers, and these are the people who are, who are here. Not the ordinary Bahima in Ankole. The ordinary Bahima, they just brought, bring them here as cattle keepers. So this is the problem, in, in summary, that's what I can say. Yes.